got an oil leak here on a uh, Toyota engine and uh, this is the oil pump and you can see how clean it is around here where the oil's washed it out from the seal uh, leaking and it's carried around on the timing belt there's a drip of oil here on the crank pulley but it's really not very clean so I don't think that seal is leaking but it's got an oil slick under my car and it's getting bad enough where it needs to be fixed and all the way up here in the in the timing housing there's oil and I've got to clean that out before I pop these seals out and to get this oil pump off of here you got to take the, the oil pan off and then you got to take the oil uh, pickup pipe out before you can unbolt this uh, uh, housing and change the seal on the back side but I don't see any uh, um, oil leaking out by, from underneath the pump so I'm not going to uh, uh, spend an entire day doing that I'm just going to change these uh, lip seals and see if that doesn't uh, resolve my problem alright this is uh, all cleaned up and I've uh, pushed the seals in I had a real uh, tough time getting this oil pump seal out I stuck my pick under it and tried pulling on it and it, all it did is bent the tip on it so I'm going to show you how I got it out of there and, oh, by the way I got the tensioner pulley back on there and cleaned up I didn't want to uh, ruin the seal on it with brake cleaner that's just a little tip to avoid uh, bearing hadn't been on there very long This is the uh, front crank seal. It uh, pulled out really easy and it, it's uh, just really brittle. You can see how it cracked and broke there. And I was able to pull it out with a pick. The uh, oil pump seal, I couldn't, couldn't get it out. And uh, you can see that it's, uh, it just, uh, it's brittle and it's cracked and, and you can see uh, right in there. Little shiny spot right there is a sheet metal screw that I used to pierce the uh, outside of the seal to, to pull it out. And you can see it's all, all brittle and cracked and cracked and broke. But if you don't know how to get these seals out, you can just uh, puncture it with a, a sheet metal screw and pull it out with pliers or, or pry it out. And that's what I had to do with this one. I, I, I just could not dig it out. And I didn't want to damage the oil pump in the process, so this is a little tip for you uh, uh, DIY guys and the newbies that, that haven't done a lot of these. And, uh, I'm going to get this back together. Sometimes when you put a screw in it like that, you have to do it in two or three spots. It just depends on how tough it is. The larger ones, it's generally the case. At least, at least two sides. Some of you guys uh, might uh, use a uh, aftermarket timing belt, and this one's been on the car about three or four years. And you can see that it's a, uh, a factory belt. It actually says Toyota on it. These belts are uh, uh, a little more expensive than, than what you're going to get down at your uh, discount auto store. Well, like I said, this, this, this belt has at least 50,000 miles on it. And you get in here and look. And I don't even see any cracking in it. So I'm going to put it back on. I've got another one on order. Just an aftermarket belt from Goodyear. This car is so old now that, that uh, people are just dumping the uh, used parts in, into the marketplace. So... I got a smoking deal on, on a uh, aftermarket belt, so I'll put that on if if I think this belt's bad. And, and it, it, after I inspected it, it looks like way better than uh, uh, I had anticipated. I figured it was oil soaked and swelled and might have been cracked, and, and it's, it's just not the case.
So as clean as this belt looks, I'm just going to stick it back on and not even worry about it.